from the language lab team i am rastina welcome to the hcc language lab series 2 this module is on reading why is it important to read when we are asked to read our notes any articles or a piece of text we find it difficult in the beginning some even dislike reading as it seems a boring task but friends reading is the most important skill in english in this module we would see why is reading important the common difficulties you face while reading the possible solutions to improve your reading followed by an exercise so let's get started reading has lots to offer it increases your vocabulary the words you come across while reading in due course tend to become your active vocabulary which is used by you in your sentences while you speak every time you read there is this picture you create in your mind your imagination connects the words and actions to an image this improves your creativity the sentences you use in the text actually helps you understand sentence structure and formation which can help you to write your sentences better reading becomes fun when you enjoy its benefits let us now see the common difficulties we face while reading number 1 issue with words unknown words we don't know the word its pronunciation its meaning and tend to put letters together to read this blocks the flow of your reading and you stop number 2 speed while you read you tend to read at a normal speed until you face the issue with words there you slow down trying to solve the issue then you continue with the normal speed this up and down in the speed hinders your reading pace and you become annoyed number 3 poor comprehension there are lots to keep in mind while reading the pronunciation of the word the speed the meaning and the connections pictures and images sometimes we feel in this connection and end up not understanding what we are reading this happens at most all the levels and finally the reading becomes a nightmare now let's see what could be possibly done to make your reading exciting it is human nature to choose only what we like let it be so in reading too start with what you are attracted to read and then continue always connect the words with picture and images for better understanding remember to read in portions take small breaks in between reading at a stretch could be tiring at times set reading goals say one chapter today tomorrow the next and so on it is better if you can make reading a habit a routine which you do on a regular basis a small part but necessary every day so that you are in touch after watching this video you would be doing an exercise so let me tell you what would you note while reading any text note the title try to guess the content from the title this makes you interested to read the text to find out if your guess is right look at the characters give them images connect with them note 
down the new words. Remember, these words would be your active vocabulary. Also note down the time you take to complete reading that particular text. Then reflect on what you have learned from the text you read. It can be a moral, it can be any piece of information. And that's all reading is done. Now coming to the exercise. Watch this input session video again carefully. In the description, you would be given links of the reading materials. Select five out of the given stories and start reading daily. Select what you are attracted to read. Make note of the required items. Then. You fill those details from the notes you have taken by reading in the reading worksheet 1. So now, are you confident about reading? Reading is simple but essential for learning. As Anissa says, reading is streaming with open eyes. Happy reading everyone. Let the learning continue.